Hey loves, it's time back again with another video. So, ko bag kaya sa akin channel. My name is Ai, and I am from the Philippines. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to be a part of the team. Messy. Today's video is going to be another review. Kung ito ba ipapasa sa quality ko o hindi. I will be giving thoughts about this specific item. Item na yun ay called Mi Effect Customizable Lip Palette. So if you want to know kung ano ba talaga yun, just keep on watching. So Pony Effect is actually a Korean brand produced by Pony herself. Pony is a Korean YouTuber na nag, nag make siya ng mga very specific makeup look na sobrang gaganda talaga. Kami nang nakakilala sa kanya because of her talent and super nice talaga ng mga way niya on how to put makeup. So, parang katulad lang dito sa local natin, may mga line dins talaga sila. Ito yung itantay natin ngayon. Yung customizing lip palette ni Pony. So, ito yung itsura niya. From the way I see it, it's very nice na talaga. Very sleek siya. So, matte black and then um, rose gold. And then rose gold yung dito niya. Sa likod, may nakalagay dito ng mga shade and all that. Ito yung itsura nung mismong palette. Sobrang ganda niya talaga. Sobrang sleek niya, guys. Parang it reminds me of the brand Sleek talaga. Medyo plasticky siya. It has 10 colors. Yung 5 colors is yung pang mixing mo. And the other 5 is yung mga red tone. They also have a manual here wherein you can mix all the colors. Dito mo malilaman kung gaano karami ang ilalagay mo per color. It comes with a mixing brush wherein pe pwede mo siyang mamix dito. And then sa kabila yung pag-apply ng lipstick itself. And then may ganito rin siya na parang ilalagay mo yung fingers mo. Para ka talagang nagpipaint, guys. Para ka nagpipaint. Ganun yung effect niya. Para kang nagpipaint. Tapos, ito yung mixing plate mo. Dito ka magmimix ng color. So, what we're gonna do is to try it on. So, gagamitin natin tong manual to base kung paano gumawa ng another color. Kunyari, this one, ito dark, very dark siya. Nakalagay yung sensual, which is the purple one. Third or one-fourth nito ay purple. And then, itong kulay ay yung three fourths. So, we will, well, patlong kulay yung itatry natin ngayon, guys. So, I'm gonna try this nude color. This one. Lagi dito is konting black and then maraming red. So, ito yung red na kukunin ko. Yan. And then, I'm gonna get a little bit of black. And then, imimix ko siya. Ayan, may color na tayo. And, try natin siya is swatch. Can you guys see it? Oh my god, ganda. It's a mauve color. Really like it. Let's try to make another color. Gusto ko medyo ano naman, parang Korean. I want to try this yellowish color. Bubble, little bit of yellow. You can see the color na. Para sa akin wearable talaga siya kahit itong orangey, itong mauve color, very nice talaga niya. Last color, guys. Mabilis lang tong video na to. Um, we're going to try this one, the purpley red, reddish ito red and a little bit of black tama ba and then, purple a little bit of purple ang trick dito medyo i-swipe swipe down mo siya sa mismong mixing palette para yung color niya umupo umupo so, medyo madumi lang siya no oo kasi dahil nga ni-rotate ko siya Medyo madumi siya kasi mix tapos, you know what I mean guys, pero medyo madumi siya pag marami kang i-explore na laro, na color yan. But other than that, I think it's really nice. Let's try to put on kung okay ba siya sa lips kasi minsan, um, kadalasan ng mga lip ko, ng lip product are okay sila pag ini-swatch pero pagka sa lips na hindi na. In all fairness ha, hindi siya purple. Hindi siya kulay purple. I don't like the brush. I'm gonna change the brush, ha? Gamit ako ng sarili kong brush. Ito, mas gusto ko to. It's not heavy, as in. And yung kulay niya, hindi siya super matte, hindi rin siya super glossy, but I super love it. I super love it. Parang wala kang suot. Parang lip balm lang. I'm gonna post a selfie, guys. Okay, let's try another color. Kaya inisip ko, worth the price siya. Matipid naman kasi. Parang wala akong lipstick. Parang labi ko lang talaga siya, guys. Promise. <laughs> I really love it. 
it looks fairly enough. So, I will post a picture. Ito yung first na hinalo ko kanina. Wala, yun na yung orange. Hindi siya orangey na orangey sa akin. Pero kita mo na may shade ng orange. Wearable pa rin siya para sa akin. Okay naman yung pagka-orange niya. Here's another picture, guys. So, final thoughts na tayo about this makeup, about this lipstick na customizing. Kung ano ba yung pros and cons ko dito. Para sa akin, blendable siya. As in, okay talaga siya sa skin type ko. Parang, hindi ko alam kung anong magic nito na any color. Parang, at lalo naman yung tinarin natin. Pero I feel like, you know, it's really in my skin. Parang I feel like this is my natural lip color. Kasi syempre kahit na sabihin mong natural lang or matte lipstick. Especially with matte, you can see na parang unnatural yung color and all that. Pero ito, I feel like sobrang natural looking nila sa lips. Hindi siya heavy. Kasi diba pagka medyo, medyo pag hindi matte, parang maramdaman mo siya na parang nagsistick yung lips mo. But this one doesn't feel like that. Parang Nag-lip balm lang ako, pero hindi siya... Parang lip balm lang siya with color. Parang ganun. In terms of accessibility, doon tayo medyo magkakatalo-talo. Kung kailangan nyo ng parang talagang super handy lang yan, na parang one lipstick lang and one color, hindi ito yun because you have to make batches ng color if you want it or kailangan mo pa siyang ilipat sa ibang um, palette kung, kung yun yung shade ng color na gusto mo kung nagmamadali ka or wala kang tayo maghalo, hindi siya okay. Pero para sa akin ha, kung hindi ka naman nagmamadali tapos ito travel ka, especially me, I really like to, you know, make some red color sa lips ko. Minsan dark naman, minsan mauve, gusto ko minsan orangey. This would be a nice color because I don't have to bring such many things. Ito, isang palette lang siya. Diba? Parang yun lang yung, yun yung pros niya naman. In terms of kung gaano ba siya katagal, I'm quite sure na Wait lang, let's see. I'm quite sure na hindi ito kiss proof kasi hindi siya matte eh. Malaki ang chance na pagkakain ka, mawawala din to. It has to be applied every now and then para sa akin. If you're the person na ayaw nung ganon, this will not work for you, I think. Pero if you're the type of a person na you can retouch every time naman, this is a go-to. I will rate this an 8 out of 10 just because ito, yung brush niya, hindi ko natripan. Maganda yung panghalo niya, but the fact na the brush is underneath lang or kabilaan lang sila. It's kind of messy. As you can see, it's very messy. So, I feel like pag nag-travel ako, it's gonna be messy when I use this. I really like the super limited lang yung color, but you know, it can give you up to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It can give you up to 30 colors plus yung mga customizable or experiment colors pa na gagawin mo. I'm not quite sure kung saan siya nabibili kasi nabili ko to sa online shop which is a friend of mine. I will link down below yung shop niya and I will also link down below kung ano yung pony effect um, website. So, tapos na lang tayo sa ating review guys. I hope that you learn a thing or two. Hope you guys learn a thing or two. So, kung meron kayo natutunan or na-enjoy nyo itong video na to, make sure again to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video para mag-upload pa ako ng napakaraming review for you guys. So, ayun lang naman. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!